Um, yeah, if you somehow lost the dog, you'd have no trouble finding this point. <laughs> oh, you American! Breaking <laughs> Gosh, I lost the word. <laughs> What's that? Timmy's stuck in a well? Did you know in the entire history of Lassie, Timmy was never stuck in the well? That, that doesn't surprise me. It's a very straight schmears. Yeah. It seems a little odd. Also, I like, mean, a really a lot of blood. I mean... It is a lot of blood, and if it all came from Diane, they they attacked her somewhere and then dragged her out to hang her up. Um, she was not coated in blood. Yeah. Well, she was dripping a bit, so maybe she was a few pints low. Really, nothing about it makes sense, but that's okay. This is true. Come on. You... What's that, Willie? <laughs> Timmy... Time to take a nap? <laughs> Timmy's become an early romanticist? Is that what it is? <laughs> that's... Oh, 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 oh. Grooves, perhaps? Should I try to get that... my groove back, Zach? <laughs> Now that's a good find, but Willie in no way pointed this out. Fair he was enough, on the other yeah. end of the room. <laughs> Willie was just kind of chilling there. Chilly Willie, if you will. I will not. Another ladder. And a sapling. Yeah. Oh. Who do you think is. Kaysen must be trapped down there. Willie, are you oh, yeah. There? He's stuck in the well. Kaysen. <laughs> What are you doing in there? Masturbating furiously. York, is that you? <laughs> is there any other way? I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it, it from your side? Like yourself. Jason, <laughs> stand away from the door. <laughs> Give him time to get away there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I told him to stand away. Presumably, if it's a ladder like before, he'd, down on the floor, he'd be pretty clear. I've been down there for nine days, York. What, what, what were you doing? doing? Sleeping? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know. Pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. She just died what? in my arms tonight. You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. Now. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Now. Well, I just... I just came here to talk with Diane, to have a conversation. I suppose that conversation. kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. Kiss mark. The lipstick on your this cock done told the tail on you. Thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. I don't think that's too. I don't think that was a spur of the moment thing that killed okay, Diane. Okay, okay. No, it really doesn't seem like a crime of fashion. You happy now? I have poor impulse control. I'm going before. to uh, a couple times. do all this. It's one of the take reasons hours, why probably. I like coming to this town. See, this time is no in order to even uh, hang her up I, there. I, I you'd have to have some sort of pulley system or something. Right. I had some some holiday coming up. Well, so so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now, and I don't want her lawyer finding out. That angers me so much. And arouses me. <laughs> anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Oh, I bet Arthur Conan Doyle could think of a ago, way. Me and Diane, we were taking it easy, Willie locked it and upstairs. pushed the uh, we were, bookcase you know, back. Enjoying ourselves, then Nick had to show up. I don't think there's a well, you know Diane needed before enjoying ourselves. She locked me up in here. This seems a bad plan. Like I don't care what you're doing. Yeah. I've just been here waiting for her to come back, of course, but but she did. I think he would at least check out whether there's another times, uh, exit from by. down there. Also, I mean, like, if you're just hiding from someone, don't you think the giant fucking bookcase now, shoved in front of the anymore, room is enough? So I let here out through the window. Yeah. They're just leaving by the back door. Really. Then you showed up instead of Diane. 
Uh, how so you'll have to do. What take the your hell clothes is off. this gravity that's going on here? How is he standing like that? Zack Diane has become the third victim of our killer. His feet do you remember that, Zack? Nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. Uh, I'm not going to show that part, Diane but just trust passing. me. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art. But he also had a problem with her views about men. He uh, says that they argued, but not at a level that reviews about to men, murder. that it was okay to sleep with them if they she wanted to? Pretty much, I think. Yeah. Came together. That's... But God, shocking. Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was, either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect. But that door was locked from the outside. He's not a prime suspect. You can there divide no it by two. In or out of that room. Which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. You haven't even dusted the place for prints, buddy. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. How do you know it was a man's boots? Nick was wearing he, boots. He said that he heard that. But now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement. Which is why we have Nick in custody yeah, and have to let Kaysen go free. What if it was a like heavy-footed woman for now. in boots? One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. Duh. I guess this case is... Well, I mean... Too. He on, all he said was they weren't healed, it's not that it wasn't I am. Mm. Take his rules and confidence away from him? I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. It really doesn't warrant the air quotes. Yeah. Or scare quotes, or whatever you call them in print. Also, um... I feel like we don't know enough about George to be making statements like that. Yeah. That's something York does. He thinks he knows more than he knows. Mm. Flashlight. <laughs> that replenishes a moderate amount of your hunger. Month two. Case going well. <laughs> yes. This, the flare is actually Signal brand flare, it looks like. Mm. It's raining again. Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Skip someone. Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? I'm gonna what walk is it, like a chicken over here for a bit. There's cheep something cheep. I'd like to cheep talk cheap. to you about. Do you have any time later? <laughs> Can't we just be curious, curious about? about cheap, cheap. If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course. We don't really have to. It's a special kind of bar. Bar. Uh, we're only guys. Yeah, that open. sounds like a good curious, idea. Curious, you know? Just curious. Exactly. I'm bar curious. We can go drinking with George, <laughs> or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Of course we're going to go drinking with George. My God, I wouldn't want to go drinking with George. Drinking at the bar with George. George, 13 pass. 13 pass what? Where did you get it? None of your goddamn business. Didn't I tell you? I well, should say that Tim more often, really. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. The big red I used tree? I climb it a lot. <laughs> and fall out of it a lot. On my head. Sometimes I would jump screaming, George, catch me! This wasn't anything like that, though. <laughs> Who's my mother? It's Carol in the background. She did it. I'm sorry, Thank George. You. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. Something slouches toward Bethlehem. Yeah. Oh my god, I love smoking, George. No I can't memories even of my tell father. Him. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. God, George, the smooth flavor of the cigarette. <laughs> if I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Left your shoes scattered? Yeah. How many shoes did you have as a kid? The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. And she'd tie me up on the tree and uh, uh, masturbate in front of me. Stuff in my mouth full of red seeds. Pistachio nuts, really, but. Yeah, that 
that Tree punishment, punishment always struck me as kind of sadistic, making the kid go just out and cut the words, cut the branch to, sure to whip them with. Yeah. Out. That just seemed... That's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Mind fucky. Well, yeah, that's the point. Every time it. after the tree punishment... That is the point, but if all you want to do is remind the kid thing. not to misbehave, I don't think you need to fuck with his head. Tree more than it is Personally. Me. I don't think it's about that. <laughs> me. No, I know. A naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods... I to think it's about God, I resent the fact that you took away all my freedoms, child. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some truth to that. Sorry, George, I couldn't hear you over the sound of my smoking. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I've thought long and hard about it. And uh, I just figured is this not weaker than her. That's why. George, we're it's really the law of what, Mother what did Nature you want to here to talk about. The strong eat the weak. I mean I'm sorry, but George, that was traumatic and probably them. fucked you up, but the story That's has right. become boring. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. Perhaps Didn't hurt me none. Look how that turned out. Perhaps I should thank her. Yeah, thank her with my friggin' knife. Jeez. She used to make me cut cables. York. <laughs> I love say, son, food. one day this'll kill. And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. Yes. I could have saved them no. both. Maybe. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar you know, for someone a drink. who's used to watching but I guess mysteries this bar is my might think that this guy just set himself up as either the bad guy or a red herring by saying you. that. Yeah. Well, you should probably take it seriously it as as the detective, but of course you're not going to. Hate me for causing all these problems and not following your orders, York. I'm sorry. Ooh, sexy. I'll follow your orders from now on. Sexy, sexy orders. You'll have my total cooperation. <laughs> total cooperation. I don't even want a safe make, word, York. You've been as cooperative as you make can. Make me cut a tree branch. Go ahead, do it. You even <laughs> invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. Stop the gesturing in the foreground. <laughs> Nobody can blame you for anything. And then this hand, oh. and then this hand. Thanks. Also, button your damn shirt. I do feel a little better. It's not that kind of bar. Beer brand beer. <laughs> hey, Carol, why are you dead? I bet she won't want to talk to him. Hey, Carol. Carol, Becky's I gotta dead. admit, I don't remember who you are. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. She what have you got for and sale? Is Thomas Nick is didn't do it. Uh, I know. Also, she has a magical glass that Carol. clips through her boa. You took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's a rectangle. But she can't see that side. What do you... That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> what card am I holding? It's like the beginning of Ghostbusters. And baby, gotta go. Wait, she Diane, go I have 75 more cards to go. Let's let the room strobe as the camera slides across. Oh god, is she gonna sing? Uh, I'm sorry, I do not like her singing at all. I don't think we can get away from this. She was not hired for her singing, but for her voice acting. They did not replace her with a singer. <laughs> I don't claim to have perfect pitch, but I think that's off. Is she, like... In a wind tunnel or something? Why, why does she sound like she's 50 feet away? Also, why the horrible animation on her face here? There's a lot going on here that just does not convey the... Uh, I don't think this is what they were trying to convey. Stores. I think they want her to be sultry and sexy and, and, and beautiful, and instead they've got flat and echoey and bizarre. Stores fading! But I linger <laughs> on, still craving your kiss. I wonder if anyone's ever done that. <laughs> Probably. Uh, you know, in the vastness of the universe, most likely. I've watched how-to videos about how to do the sort of screamo voice, and I've been tempted to learn it for the just for the haunted house, but. Mm. It is such a well-known sound, if I started to speak to someone in that voice, people would just think, oh, he's a screamo singer, not, oh, scary guy. 
Uh, I know that for the Beauty and the Beast sort of metal sound, you have to keep doing stuff till you scar the throat. Uh, yeah, there there are ways to do it that don't don't go that far. Eh, um, it's no fun. Yeah, the same with the uh, the two van throat singing. You you sort of have to scar up the throat, but there are ways to uh, create a similar enough sound that doesn't that doesn't actually damage. Interesting. As I am Take told, I haven't done it personally. Look, here's a character that has... Looks like hell. But <laughs> Actually a pretty interesting looking character, I think. Yeah. Like, I yeah, want to know more about this guy. He's a non... He's, he's an extra. Yeah, oh, and here's the... In case you didn't get it. I think what's interesting is, like, I'm getting the feeling that a lot of the stuff that doesn't make sense is this is how... Like, Japanese culture assumes America must be like, and that's kind of amusing in its own right, I suppose. Yeah, maybe something to do that. Like, Keith always snapping, bopping, and snapping yeah. his fingers. Uh, I've actually seen there's the sort of, for a while anyway, uh, kind of a, a fad of uh, Japanese young men dressing as uh, American rockabilly, uh, except with like really high pompadours. Yeah. So that may be what they're what they're uh, using there. Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Mm -hmm. I had to go get my voice back into my face. <sighs> Emily is already a goddess of the forest. Don't say that, because goddess of the forest means dead. Yeah. Bimbo. Oh no, this is Emily, not Carol. Okay. Well, let's yeah. forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? She uh. I guess she, she gets out of the cat suit for Why is she plot here? moments where she would have right. a different outfit. I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Oh, it was... Is this a problem? No, of course not. I was going to offer you a blowy in the in the back bathroom, but... Pardon me, oh well. but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call Instead, it I'll poop. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. <laughs> I'm afraid I've already had enough. I'm gonna drive drunk. Had a good man -to -man with your <laughs> Whoa, by putting quotes around that, you make it really suggestive. <laughs> yeah. Still not how pockets work. Earlier, I had a good man to man with Kaysen, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Walk like a chicken. Whoa. And we haven't seen Thomas in a while. He's probably up to something. Yeah. Or darkness. Maybe he's waiting outside to have a you. man to man with but he's George. avoiding you all at the same time. Well, he does have that G tattoo right. on his back. How astute. So I think there's a reason. There's like this fucking love Nothing triangle in the police department. Into. It's a thing of the past. It's like George wants Emily, uh, Thomas wants George. So I guess Emily, Emily wants, wants want York. Thomas. Well, I don't know. I think she's a loose end <laughs> okay. since she's clearly after he York did now. Ask yeah. Me when I first came to town, I was still in high school. Oh, there's but the piano I player. Never really yeah. considered him Wait, type. no. And I think so. there's the age gap. It's a copy of the piano player because the piano player is at the piano. I wouldn't have taken this job. He's got a twin. And they both need sleep badly. Twin pianists. <laughs> of course not. I came with my parents. Of course not. Uh, what? Tell me about them then. Sure. Why not? My Tell you every other goddamn in thing. New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid. Always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. This dress this is, is just no way over the top really for this fucking divey so bar. Yes. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, <laughs> her, but her she with eyeliner makes her look way. evil a lot of the time. She could be fierce, okay, yeah. too. Scolding this me is apparently the backstory that. bar. Yeah. We had our battles, sure, but all in all... I'll have a uh, martini right. with a uh, info Cancer. dump uh, backup? Yeah, she's backup, gone back, now. Sling back? Cancer, I can't just before I graduated high school. I clearly don't bar she drink enough. She gave this to me just before she died. Oh, just back. I take Something with, with, a, wherever I like go. with a beer back. It's what I treasure most. It's a leaf. Can I uh, get an I'm apple sure teeny and of any interesting sibling stories you have? Get a bowl of pretzels and some, you know, child abuse. Uh, how about some uh, beef sliders and uh, the first time you experienced loss? 
<laughs> I've been to that bar. <laughs> kind of pretentious golf bar. 